Hello, my name is Peter. Uh, I'm going to help you create a new ETS2 or ATS because it, it's pretty much the same process, uh, though I'll be showing you through ETS2 on how to create a new profile. Uh, but this is based upon an existing profile. Um, it's easier to do, I think, because you've got one already existing, assuming you've played the game for a while. Uh, and it's a good way of um, getting an easy start up so that you've already got XP for your level so you can already buy a truck, you've got money and possibly even employers as well plus you can also use the same settings and the same options uh, that you have in game for that profile that exists this um, if you don't want to do that uh, there's another option uh, when creating a new game profile um, you can use a money and XP level mod cheat which you can search on the forum for or on Steam Workshop uh, and then literally do the first um, initial job which is a quick job that you do uh, which is a truck that you do not own yourself uh, and then you can from that you can get an extra XP level or money as well uh, or of course you could use cheat engine as well to do it but that doesn't work as good these days but I'm going to show you how to do it assuming you have an existing profile which is the easier option uh, there's a few steps you need to do first um, you'll want to go to documents and your truck simulator 2 in here there's a file called config.cfg I recommend editing these files that we're going to edit with Notepad++ which you can get online easily if you just google Notepad++ and then download the latest release. Um, it's a very good application, it's better than uh, uh, the default Windows one that you get in Notepad. Anyway, so first thing, open up config.cfg I use Obsidian style which is in settings and star configurator that's the one I use which is a dark mode kind of one in here uh, there's a lot of settings uh, that are also set in game but you can edit them in here as well uh, the one we're interested in if we press ctrl and f to find is one called save now it's actually called usetg underscore save underscore format and it's important that we change this if it's not already set to zero within the speech marks uh, and the reason for that is because we're going to be changing um, SS, SII files uh, specifically the profile one um, uh, to create a new uh, existing uh, well a new profile based upon an existing profile um, and yeah so that's that needs doing uh, I would also recommend enabling the console because there's a command that you can use in game which will tidy up your profile um, especially if you've had truck mods enabled uh, to do that I'll leave a link to this in the description uh, there's a nice little article by Fion here who takes you through on how to activate it uh, basically it's in that config file and that I've just shown you and there's like a G underscore console and a G develop which you just set to 1 rather than 0 uh, to access it you'll have to just push the like a little hyphen key that's to the left of the one and above the tab key on your keyboard, uh, which we'll show you later. Okay, so now that you've done the config, um, you now need to decide upon which existing profile you're going to base your new profile on. Uh, it is recommended, and I highly recommend it, using a profile that is more villainer, um, i.e., a profile that has not had many mods uh, if at all um, and the reason for that is because you want really to start a new profile as a clean profile uh, you know bugs or warning error messages in your uh, profile within the console uh, so for example for me in my profiles I have a testing profile where I test all my new profiles uh, testing mods rather not profiles um, I have a Peter Muzz player which is my initial vanilla game uh, where I've had no mods on there whatsoever uh, I've also got a pro mods multiplayer profile which I use to play pro mods on the truckers MP 
uh, and then there's P to SP which is my single player profile which I play majority of the time um, but my vanilla profile is definitely my multiplayer one so I'll be basing mine upon my multiplayer one um, if you have Steam Cloud enabled you want to disable that now um, I don't use Steam Cloud personally I back up my profiles manually because uh, I back up my hard drive every month um, but if you use Steam Cloud, just disable it for now. Um, don't worry, because you can re-enable it after you've copied the profile. It, it just make doing that makes it a lot easier to copy the profile because it, yeah, otherwise it's an absolute nightmare, and there's a bit of a issue if you use Steam Cloud when doing this. So disable Steam Cloud to start off with. The next thing you want to do is you want to have your game version being the most up-to-date non-beta and it's important that it's a non-beta um, so for me it's 1.42 at the moment dot one dot one uh, select the profile you want to copy click continue so that you load it in because there's a few things that you need to check in here before going ahead with the duplication process Set that load. Okay, so here we are in our truck. I have mine set to so that I can enter driving mode straight away. So I'll just press escape to get to this menu, or the main default GUI menu. Uh, in here, check that your level for your profile that you're selecting here and wanted to use is I recommend above 15, maybe 18, so that you have choices for accessories when purchasing a truck. Um, make sure your balance is good so for me I've got more than enough um, if you have employees I don't on this profile but if you do make sure they are using a default truck and I it, it is really important that so please make sure your drivers are using a default truck preferably one that you're not going to drive yourself but it, it, it doesn't really matter that much I tend to use a, a, a truck that I don't really um, have my drivers uh, well I don't drive myself and that's because sometimes I will use a truck mod that replaces the default and if you do that you don't really want to have your employers having a default truck or a like modded truck rather sorry um, that if you replace later on down the line it may have corruptions later on uh, which can corrupt your profile so that's why I recommend you have employees drive a truck that you are not going to drive yourself um, so yeah okay and once you've done so once you've done that and you've checked that you've got an, enough level um, which is your XP as well you've got enough money your employees if you have any um, driving a truck that you do not drive yourself um, you can then exit the game which will save the game for that profile within the, the current version uh, and the most stable version um, something that I've actually forgotten to do is to clean the profile up. Now I know that my profile is currently clean. Um, there's a command called g underscore remove underscore missing underscore accessories space one that helps clean up your profile. To do that, I'll just go here quickly because I completely forgot about it, which is probably should be done before we actually copy the profile. Um, it's easy to do. It's just open up the console so we'll load up to the game. My bad. up again so I'll bring up the console so in here you'll see that I have pretty much no errors in here and I know that because this is a profile that is based upon a vanilla profile oh ok so we do have one error message I'm not sure what that is uh, doing my wheel looking at it um, the other ones don't really matter. Um, so yeah, um, it has something to do with the, the force feedback. Like that. Um, so in here, 
clicking this box at the bottom of this um, console window, you can make it bigger using the bottom right corner. Uh, type in that g underscore remove underscore missing underscore access from space one. Press enter. It will clear up the any errors or warnings that you have related to missing accessories for truck vehicles, trailer vehicles, uh, traffic vehicles as well. Um, there are other commands you can run in there to clean the profile up, but you can Google how to do that yourself. That should suffice though for what you need to do. Then you can exit, so I'm just going to push Alt and F4 to exit the game. It'll save it, close it down, and now you're ready to start the duplication process. I.e. copy your existing profile, rename it so it's separate to that other profile, and then you can um, load it in game and you don't need to set up all your settings or options etc because it's already there for you. Um, so in documents ETS2 profiles, because um, we're not using the Steam profiles one, sorry your Steam profiles would be in here, I don't use Steam, Prof Steam Cloud so mine are all manual in here. Um, if you sort it by date modified, um, the top one, which you can see there, 1616, is pretty much the time and date um, of the profile that we just used. Um, if you want to make sure and double check, what you can do is the name of the folder here is actually a hex data code of the string text within the profile SII file. Um, so you can come to this website in here, put your hex data in here, so copy the name, all the hex data code, convert it to text and what it'll do is it'll convert that this code here into what the actual string is, uh, which is P to MP, which is the name of the, the thing on the actual profile within game. So we know that that hex data code there is the profile that I want to edit um, or copy. So what we'll do is we'll come in here, we'll drag the folder in the same profiles folder, but I'll hold control down and it'll copy it. You can also do copy folder and then paste. Um, either way you'll get a copy of the profile folder with all the files with all the settings including a profile SII file. Now currently if we open up this it's it doesn't really make much sense it's a load of code basically uh, and we can't really change the profile name you that way um, so what we use is we use a decrypt tool and, and basically all you do is you drag your profile SII file onto the decrypt tool. You don't need to do it for the backup one, just this one. Now when it's done that, a black box will appear on screen and then disappear quite rapidly. Uh, open up profile SII file. Now it makes sense to us. See here it will give you the name of your company, what logo you're using, if you're a male or female, um, and a lot of other data as well which you don't really want to mess with so don't, don't try messing around with all this cache discovery data and stuff like that unless you know what you're doing. Um, the line we're interested in is right at the bottom so you can just press literally control end and it'll take to the very bottom is the profile name. Um, see here that it's Peter MP now make sure before you continue that you have in the right folder. So make sure in the, you're in the copy version and not the original, because you don't want to really mess up your original. Uh, granted, you've got a backup copy at the moment, but make sure that you're in the copy version. So open profile. Uh, in here, at the end of the document, you want to change this line profile name. Now, it's important that you keep within the speech marks and it's important you keep the speech marks there so rename this profile to what you want it to be so for me I'm going to name this one Peter PL MP 
because that's my VTC Penfold Logistics that I'm a part of um, and it's going to be my convoy profile once that has changed copy the name without the speech marks close the file save it go over to that website paste in the text data string without the speech marks click on convert to hex take the hex code copy that and go back to profiles rename the folder that hex data code so that the hex data code matches the profile otherwise the game won't be able to recognize what it is okay so when that is done you'll now have the new profile with all the same settings so your gearbox your controls your game configuration and your game configuration local settings as well as your avatar and any save games um, if you want to copy controls and options for the game you can do by selecting all in here deselecting save deselect avatar and then deselect profile and profile back and you probably won't have that present and then right click and copy and then you can paste that into any of your profiles locally I don't think it works for Steam it only works for local as far as I know um, so yeah and there we go if you now go into the ETS 2 when you load up this the game you should now see that new profile so there we go Peter and PLMP is there and it's a copy now you can re-enable the cloud sync for both of these profiles so if you have um, cloud sync enabled you can now re-enable that and apply it and link it to your um, account if you haven't already done so for World of Trucks if you want to and do the same for the original as well um, but when you load up this one now which is the copy or the new new version of the original um, it'll have all the same settings all the same options all the same control configuration as your previous one and that's how simple it is um, so yeah happy trucking and enjoy